The Group 3 Bahrain Trophy for three-year-olds. As is the pattern in England, there's a piddly six-horse field. Tower of London starts favourite, he's in the purple, while Castle Way and St George were the next popular picks. No, no sit and sprint here. Let's see how it unfolds and if we might see, Richard, a proper St Ledger candidate. Well, the last one that goes in, then Ledger, that I mentioned before, it won't be the only one of the uh, six that will have Ledger aspirations being a gelding, but the other five potentially all do. And they leave the stall, so the ball could away was Klondike, and best out is the outsider Think First, who emerges immediately with a lead of two lengths and extends that nearly to three almost straight away. In second place is Tower of London, who's been joined by Castle Way, and they dispute second. In fourth is St George, since the grey horse, as Castle Way continues to move forward in the field, and the last two are Land Legend and the slow-starting Klondike as they continue their progress through the first uh, half mile. So out in the lead, just an even pace is Think First, who has the advantage. Tower of London and Castle Way are racing keenly now, as you can see. Neil Cannon on the leader taking a big grip now of those reins and just steadying it down. And as a result, notably Castle Way just a little bit keen as the pace has steadied. St. George the Grey on the outside of Land Legend. And as they begin to take the bend, it is Klondike who is last of all. So out in the lead, it is Think First who has the advantage. In second place, the Tower of London continues to dispute the running for second with Castle Way. St. George is on the outside of Land Legend. And last of all is Klondike. So they have this little rise and then the right-hand bend will point them in the direction of home. Think First continuing to show the way. Pace. It's not a crawl, but it's also uh, not going that fast. You can see in second and third, I suppose, under restraint there, particularly now, as again, you can see the stop start tactics for Neil Callan. He just let the horse slide around the bend. You can see he's grabbed hold of those reins again, slowing it down, looking across, and the pace steadies markedly. Nearly a 14 second furlong there. So think first, stop go. From in second place, Castle Way. Tower of London just moved off the rail, anxious not to get stuck behind the outsider in the field. Then St. George, still land legend, stays closer to the the fence and last of all is Klondike so out in the lead it is think first Castle Way poised on the leaders quarters can just hold Tower of London tight there in the pocket in third place behind these St George they're well grouped as Land Legend and Klondike are the back markers as they make their way past the final half mile and out in the lead think first still has the advantage Castle Way Tower of London and St George who now just begins to be pushed along towards the outside as the tempo begins to lift a near 12 second first along as the dash now goes for home. Castle Way, first one of the big guns to commit. Tower of London's just rather imprisoned at the moment with towards the far side, St George, near side, think first, is battling on. Tower of London having to weave, but now has room to operate with a furlong and a half to go in the Bahrain Trophy. Tower of London on the near side, blue colours, Castle Way, the grey St George, then on the far side, Klondike as they make their way up the hill. St George in the centre, Castle Way in the blue, the near side, Tower of London, go for the line to get this it's going to be very, very tight indeed. Maybe they're going to open blue. Castle away from Tower of London and St George in a staying race that turned into a dash. Klondike and Land Legend, the next two. Three of them separated by no more than half a length. First impressions were when the head's down, it is just the Godolphin Blue. Castle Way by a head. Tower of London, who couldn't really get out as the race developed. Castle Way, the winner for the Godolphin team. He was able to accelerate that a little bit earlier in what turned into a sit and sprint contest. Beautiful pictures, super slow motion really captures the beauty of the horse. And if we rewind, you'll see that Ryan Moore in the purple has actually lost his whip. On the bright side, he can't be suspended for overuse of the whip as UK Racing's woke anti-whip rules take hold. Another racing association getting on its knees to appease the green left activists. I'm sure the whip measures will result in those activists becoming racing fans. Not, not, not. Anyway, Castle Way is likely to target the St. Ledger at Doncaster, that's in September, with a possible outing in the Great Voltager in August. This race, the Bahrain Trophy, was won by Deauville Legend last year. He went on to start favourite in the Melbourne Cup. Not sure if the UK three-year-olds will bother this year after the handicapper made things very difficult for them in 2022. Check the odds, pick a winner. to make my move and then go get the fence, but he just hung off it, so that just gave the second horse a, a, a chance, you know? And for, he has some nice
Let's go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. I agree. Where's your home?